I feel like a graphic designer is the one that puts like pamphlets um, together, makes it all beautiful and, and readable for the reader to enjoy. I think that graphic design is kind of everywhere. Um, signs, um, promotional materials, um, videos, all of that. Um, I really don't know how they do it though, so it just it just magically comes together. <laughs> I would say anybody can do it. I wouldn't say they need like a formal education. Um, I like to see the graphic designers as artists. So, I mean, as long as you're practicing what you what you do and you're studying your your craft, and you can be successful in it. So maybe maybe you need a mentor or maybe you just, like I said, study someone that's been successful in the business and you can find the ways to be successful yourself, you don't need necessarily. So yeah, anybody can do it. Graphic design is not easy and you have to have a special artistic ability in order to do it. I have none. <laughs> I do not think graphic design is easy and I do not think anybody can do it. I think you have to have a certain eye and I think that you have to be properly trained. Um, and I think that's something that's, over, that's developed um, over time. And I think graphic designers, as they continue doing more graphic design work and get more experience, they get better as they go. Um, but I also think that you have to have a talent for it. And um, graphic design is something that can be taught, but it's also something that um, you need to be able to see what good design is and understand the meaning of good design. I know absolutely nothing about graphic design, so I don't have an opinion on whether graphic design is easy or not. Um, I wouldn't think just anyone could do it because I know it mostly involves specialized computer programs. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but I would say probably not easy. Uh, no, I don't think it's easy. Um, you gotta make a good design to sell a product or you know, otherwise people won't like it. So. I don't know what you're doing. The graphic design office is just right across the hall from me and we go back and forth. She'll have an idea, can this be done? Is the mailing restrictions, are we following the guidelines? Um, what type of paper can we put it on? So we work really close together and that's what a print shop needs to do. You have to be able to work with the graphic designer to get their vision and make it a good piece. Well, I think in our day and age, it's very much needed because of the new ideas that they're coming out with all the time. They need to have a graphic designer to be able to bring in colors, lines, and visual, a lot of visual. Uh, graphic design, uh, well, the individual will be the person that basically lays out our marketing material, uh, decides how that marketing message is going to be communicated to the marketplace. And the, and they're the ones that uh, lay it out and design it and communicate it. I think having that eye for design is really important and I think that's something that is difficult to learn because we want things to come across so visual. It doesn't just have to do with, you know, how can you lay out a photo on, you know, a, a flat surface. It really needs to be all-encompassing and, you know, how can you make this visually clean, easy to read, easy to understand. In social media, we only have minutes to convey our message because it moves so fast. It's probably only seconds. And so how can you capture people's attention in a split second? And that's what our graphic designers really need to think of. My definition of graphic design, I've never really thought about it, but I am imagining that uh, it is uh, a career that would take a certain amount of creativity that would be able to um, use art as a medium to um, to convey a message. My definition of graphic design is being very creative with hair and nails and just making the world beautiful. You as artistic uh, creators are just wonderful. You make the world go round. <laughs> Well, I come from the graphic design world, so of course I think it's important. Um, what, there are so many messages that are out there in the public right now. What attracts your attention? Something's got to get your attention from all that clutter that's there. Somebody's got to be able to pull you in. And I think design is one of those ways that you can pull people in. It could be words, it could be a headline, but it also could be some really attractive looking package that's going to pull you in to make you want to read that or see that. 
Um, graphic design, I would say, in definition would be uh, the design of um, well, products in general, I think. They, um, a lot of advertisement, things like that as well. I think uh, they try to, you know, maybe boom, get, get, catch your eye on things. It's kind of a deal to get you to buy it or uh, use the product of some sort, I suppose. I do not think graphic design is easy and no anyone cannot do it. It, uh, to me, it is a gift. And once you recognize you have the gift of graphic design, then you can be very good at it. Design impacts society greatly because we live in a society where a lot of it's about sight. So if you see something that catches your eye, it'll have you, uh, let's say, do things you wouldn't normally do without it. My expecta expectations for hiring a graphic designer would be that that person would be able to uh, connect to the emotional part of my clients through art, color, uh, some other venue. My definition of graphic design is I think of like marketing and advertising and designing cool things. Designing impacts society every minute of every day, uh, you know, from the chairs we're sitting on to the computers we're using. Um, it's, it's all around us in every, everyday things. Um, and there's a lot more thought goes into some products than, than people realize sometimes. I would say society has some expectations to graphic designers is always pushing them to be cutting edge or what's to look different. You know, I want it to stand out. Well, what does that mean? Um, they don't want it to look like everybody else's. Um, and a lot of times the graphic designer has brand standards that they need to follow as well. Um, I think a lot of pressure is put on graphic designers to constantly be creative in the way of, um, think. I always think about it from like the Super Bowl perspective is, um, people ex put a lot of pressure on a graphic designer that come up with the number one Super Bowl commercial. Um, and that's what they want in their product, whatever that is, that, they're, that project that they're given the graphic designer. And some may have an idea or concept, this is what I want, and let you run with it. And others, they give you nothing. And voila, the graphic designer is supposed to create this magical being that's going to meet everyone's expectations. There's a lot of pressure put on a graphic designer.